By the time you finish this video, you'll have learned three simple techniques to create beautiful reels in Canva that are visually engaging and that can be adapted to your church context. The first technique involves having a sequence of content that swipes in and out of the composition. And for this example, I'm gonna share a list of four reasons to come to church this Sunday. So the first step is to click create and look for mobile video. So you're looking for a composition that's 1080 by 1920 pixels. And you'll add a background color by selecting the canvas, clicking the color wheel icon, and choosing what color you want. And for this reel, I'm gonna use two different fonts and different sizes for the title. And I find it easier to edit if I put that in two different text boxes. So I'm gonna add two text boxes here. And then I'm gonna rotate them slightly, which you can do by selecting the text and clicking and dragging the rotate button that appears. Then in the elements panel, search for the rounded rectangle frame. Adjust the sizing of the frame by dragging the handles so that it's portrait. Then also in the elements tab, search for a shadow graphic. So something like this subtle oval shadow will work really nicely. Move this behind the rectangle frame towards the bottom by clicking position and move backwards. Then duplicate the title text using control or command D and drag this on top of the frame. And I'm gonna change the text to the first reason that I want to give. Then in the elements tab, search for a relevant photo. Now add this to the frame by dragging and dropping. Change the color of the text on top of it to white and then select the frame containing the photo. Click edit and then adjust. And this is where you can edit what the photo looks like. So here we're gonna make the image darker by reducing the highlights and the brightness. And you do this by dragging the sliders down the scale. And now this is the really important bit. Select the frame and the text and group it together using control or command G. You're then gonna resize it by dragging the corner handles, making it really small. Then duplicate this group using Control or Command D and duplicate it three times so you end up with the same thing four times. Make sure that these are all lined up evenly and you might need to zoom in for the next part to make sure you can edit all of these. What you're gonna do here is you're gonna change the text for the last three items and replace the photographs with three different images. And you can do this easily by searching for new images in the elements tab and simply dragging them into the frame. This will replace the photo, but it will keep your brightness adjustments. And then you can make any final edits to these four items. Any changes to these elements need to be made now and not later on. So make sure you're really happy with how these look. Next, you're gonna highlight these elements and group them with Control or Command G. And this is really important, the elements must be grouped for this effect to work. And then resize the group by dragging the corner handles so that it's really big and only one of the frames is within the canvas and the others are off canvas. Now, because this is a group, those elements are still there, they're just not visible. Then going to the bottom of the page, select your current slide and duplicate it. And then in your new duplicated slide, select the group and move it along horizontally so that the second frame is the one that's on the canvas and the others are all off canvas. Now at the bottom of the screen, hover the mouse between the two slides that you've made and you'll see an option to add a transition. Click this and choose match and move. And then you'll repeat this process for the next two items. So duplicating the final slide, moving the group along so that the next frame shows on canvas and then adding the match and move transition. You can optionally choose to loop the video by duplicating the first slide and dragging it to the end. And there we have our final design. This technique is so versatile, so grouping different elements and revealing them one by one with the match and move transition is something that you can use in countless ways to make really beautiful designs that communicate your message in a really, really engaging way. And the next technique involves creating really fast paced cuts and changing just one element each time. So for this example, I'm going to create a reel that shares a list of people who are welcome at your church. And I'm going to change the adjective each time. So I'm trying to make the point that literally anyone is welcome at church. And so the same thing again, we're going to create a mobile video. So 1080 by 1920 pixels. And in elements, search for a photo to use as the background. Resize it by dragging the corner handles to make it fit the canvas. Then add a text box from the text panel. 
For my reel, I'm going to have some text that remains static throughout the reel, which is going to curve around the central text, which is what changes. So to achieve that curved style, click the text, click effects and scroll down to curve. And you can use this slider to decide how curved you want the text to be. And then I'm going to make the middle text a bit larger so that stands out the most. Click the current slide and duplicate it using Ctrl or Command D and then change your text on the second slide. And then you'll duplicate it again and repeat the same process of duplicating and changing the text until you've got lots of different slides. Then we just need to shorten the duration of these slides so that they run through really quickly so that we get that really fast paced effect. So to do that, select all of the slides by holding shift and clicking the first and last slides, click the clock icon and change the timing to 0.1 seconds. And so that's our second reel all finished. This is really simple, but it's really effective. And there are loads of different ways that you could try and use this for your church. And so moving on to the final reel, this technique works really well with lists. So I'm going to make a list that starts Jesus is, and that's going to be followed by a list of different things that appear one by one. We're going to start again by creating a mobile video, 1080 by 1920 pixels. And here we're going to add a black background by selecting the canvas, clicking the color wheel icon and choosing our color. So then add a text box and write the start of your sentence. And then I'm going to place this on the left of the canvas in the middle. Duplicate this text box with Ctrl or Command D. Don't change the size or style of the text because this effect looks smoothest if you keep all that the same. And in this text box, write your list. And then once you've got your list typed out, highlight it all and copy and paste it two times within the same text box so that you've got the same list three times within the same text box. And then left align this text using the alignment tool. And then you need to locate the first item of your list, but the second time that it appears, and then line this up with the start of your sentence. So you should have list items both above and below it, and it should be perfectly lined up so it looks like one continuing sentence. Then in the elements tab, insert a rectangle, and add a gradient by clicking the color wheel tool and then the gradient tab. And for both colors in the gradient, you need to choose the same color as your background. But then for the second color, bring the opacity down by dragging the slider to the left. Then you'll choose the vertical linear gradient option and resize this rectangle so it covers the width of your list and it reveals just a couple of items from the list. Then you'll add another rectangle, this time just with the same color as the background and resize this so that it covers the rest of the list at the top. Highlight these two rectangles and group them with Ctrl or Command G. Duplicate them with Ctrl or Command D and rotate them 180 degrees so they cover the list at the bottom. So now you should see your list fading in gradually from both directions with only a few items visible. Now to animate this, we're going to use the match and move transition again. So select the slide at the bottom and duplicate it. In your new duplicated slide, move the list up so that the next list item is in line with the start of your sentence. When you move the list, if you hold the shift key, it will ensure you move it in a completely straight line. Hover the cursor between the slides at the bottom, click the transition button and add the match and move transition. And then you're going to repeat these steps, duplicating the slide, moving the list up one item and adding the match and move transition until you reach the end of your list. And to make this reel loop, you can repeat this one more time so that the reel ends on the first list item. Finally, we need to adjust the timing because this is quite slow currently. So select all of the slides at the bottom by holding shift and clicking the first and the last slide, click the clock icon and change the timing to one second. And that's it. So we've got our three reels using three different techniques. But if coming up with fresh ideas for your church's social media is something that you struggle with, let me share with you 50 church social media ideas in this next video, which I think you'll find really helpful. And if you're interested in more Canva tutorials for churches, let me know in the comments. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.